Someone please help me. I've been addicted to Ace Attorney and I've been addicted to detective games and general games where you have to solve mysteries and such. Someone help. <laughs> Jesus Christ, it's going to be this month is going to be detective. Well, this month is going to be detective month. Or detective Golden is all the case. <laughs> Welcome back to Ace Attorney Phoenix Wright Edition. Emma, we last episode, we just got a huge revelation. Emma's the first witness to the stand. She, uh, I'm going to go according to court records here. We have discovered that last episode we discovered that I'm going to look at this picture. That Chief Gant is somehow connected to all this. So, we're just getting your first testimony right now. When I saw the man raise his knife, I finished. Uh, I think I know what I need to use. From the blue badger, I have... Objection! No! <laughs> Chief Prosecutor Scott. We've already come this far. It's too late to turn back. Silence. The defense will now begin its cross examination. By enough, please detain the defendant. It seems we're finally getting to the core of the matter. Emma, the person we've been helping. When I saw the man raise his knife, I panicked and rushed towards both of them. Hmm, I think I might know who it is. And let me turn it. Aha! Uh -huh. Objection! Yep! The mysterious blue badger was, in fact, this. But that... Or, what exactly is that? I believe it's some sort of jar. Indeed it doesn't. As it stands now, it's just a plain jar. However, what if we were to change our viewpoint? Our viewpoint? Come on, uh, uh, alright, let's turn it at a 90 degree, I don't, worry about the background, and, I think that's it, it's, oh, come on, oh, that's not perfect either, yeah.
Alright. I'm on. Wait, maybe it's the other way. Oh. Alright. 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 To really look up what angle, specific angle. Let the jar to match the blue badger. Uh huh. I think I figured out the angle. There! Is this a miracle or what? No one can possibly deny this jar's resemblance to the blue badger! No! It can't be! <laughs> it's not a fence, that's proven a claim! Oh no! What do you mean? Objection! I'm afraid that's where you're wrong, Mr. Edwards. Hey, everything. At the moment, there were. There were. There were. You see? Oh, uh, and she's gas, huh? Exactly. If there wasn't a reason, he wouldn't have gone through the trouble. What are the reasons? Please recall the witness's testimony. She said she knocked away the man who was holding up the knife. The jar was hit and threw the air. Now tell me, what could have sent the jar flying? Then, gentlemen, I mean, I... hitting on. The broken neck could have been. <laughs> yes. Other than what actually. Of course, the per per the perpetrator would have had no idea, but nevertheless.
Nö. Nö. Oh no! Oh God! Or you mean? No. Emma. No. no, no. Uh, yikes! That I'm this guy, but given the circumstances, imagine that. Can we if you recall, it was you who emitted 240. And you moved Prosecutor Marshall's body. That's to keep anyone else from finding out what Emma did, wasn't it? What's up? Uh. Oh, no! This me- Oh, I'm so sorry. Right. You know yep, that is a true goal. I know which one it is. Because... Marshall. 
I knew it. I just have to, I had to double check before I did it because I have. It's the jar. Uh, 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 No. no, I am sorry, Lana. You don't like, you won't like this, but it's the absolute truth. And I seek for the truth. It's effort. Emma. No, Lana. People, life was Emma Sky. Jesus. Chief God, you want to say if? A Jojo Grip. Well, we're going to finish this trial. Right here, right now. Don't tell, I don't care how long it takes. We are finishing this trial. Sorry, Andres. And back in. Uh. And, uh. 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 Ah, shoot. Alright. 
Yeah. Yeah. Point detector. A lot of dead murder detectors are good, man. She merely stuck a knife into his dead body. That means the real killer is still out there. This case has to hurt. Time to bring it to an end. Number nine. Everyone's calm down now. Very well. Okay, we're calling all the future one. Damon Gant. Defendant's partner two years ago, Mr. Gant has first hand knowledge of the crime. You he had to say about it. Good. Okay. Hi, hello again, enemy. I have an occupation. Your name and occupation. Your name and occupation. <laughs> Fine. Flame is Damon Guy and I am the Arctic. I'm. Uh... I'm gonna see your testimony. First, let's clear up this SL9 issue. <laughs> There are still some things unaccounted for. Like the role you played in all this. Oh! Son. Huh? We're very foolish. Is it? End of your trial. Oh! <laughs> to consequences for your action. I have to be real careful. Alright, let's go with that, Sean. As I recall, Neil and I were questioning him on that day. No TLDR.
Ele não acendeu as... And it comes back to the stable. You claim you had nothing to do with the forgery. But I'm afraid that claim you cannot back up. Listen, yes, sir. Several pieces of evidence were found in your office. Take this jar, for example. A piece of the jar was discovered in your safe. Not only that, but the evidence list that I presented earlier was actually found inside your desk. Oh, the evidence are covered in your office. Are both concrete food that you also play with? Get! Oh! Here's a defense attorney who may be even rival worthy! So, do you admit to it then? Who, me? Or do you mean you? However, oh. All right. Ah, uh, Detective Gumshoe, you say this again. Even if. Okay. All right. Yeah. All right. Is there a phone? At the very least, there is one very of events that you read from all this. That would, of course, be the position you have. Chief of Police. The resolution of the other night is secured your promotion to Chief. That in itself is a sufficient motive. Oh! Ho 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 ho! ho. That's a good one. Eh? Do you really think I'm that incompetent? What do you mean? Even without that case, I was already in line to become the next chief. There is a... Hello. Nothing in it for you? Sorry, but you. Okay. Good. You seem to be relaxed enough to yourself, though. Ho 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 ho! Hard one, worthy. Hmm. Huh. Point out the accomplice. True, you might have helped out anyone for this. 
to benefit you, you might decide to assist someone. Mr. Wright, it appears you are positively determined on the portray. That's not what I mean. Ooh. Chief Possum? That's a defendant? I believe it's quite obvious in light of the circumstances. Emma's guy fell victim to an unfortunate series of events. Who would want to help her more than her own sister, Lana? As for the Chief Gant, he would also have a reason to help Lana if she asked him to. That reason, of course, is self-profit. Profit? What do you mean? After the SL9 incident was resolved, Lana Sky was appointed Chief of Prosecutor's Office. Who arranged this job change? Was you, Chief Gant? But how would he profit from all this? Who will be able to use the Chief Prosecutor as his puppet? Essentially, he would acquire unchecked authority over all the investigations. You mean to tell me that despite the Chief's formidable appearance, he plays with puppets? Are you an idiot? Oh, wait! The room went silent. The whole, no one said a word, and then the judge took a few minutes I could still realize this mistake. <laughs> you must be puppet, and then someone forced to do his bidding. Never mind. A minute, Chief. You assist the honest guy in forging evidence. You motive to appoint her as Chief Prosecutor so you can control her. Right, oh my boy, you have quite the imagination. Let me see something. What is it? Do you have any proof of this? Lana? Unless, this is also what happened in this incident. Of course I'm talking about. The murder of Detective Bruce Goodman. The Chief Prosecutor has been acting strange throughout this entire trial. Almost as if someone has been controlling her. Oh! Shh. Was he? You better watch your tongue. I wouldn't want you, want you to get hurt. Just what do you mean? What he means, Your Honor, is that Chief Kent is involved in the murder of Detective Goodman. Not only that, but the chief is now making Lana take the rap to cover up his involvement. What? <laughs> I said order! Mr. Wright, you, you cannot be serious! Hmm? Impossible! Impossible. Your Honor, I was merely reiterating what Mr. Edward the easy understand language. It's no. Is there wrong with this? How do you prove this, Mr. Wright? That the chief of a high ranking officer. In Good question. The court is. The question is is he a criminal? I believe he the evidence with hell. I see. Alright, alright then. Oh, so it all comes back to this, eh? Yeah, steal. There's one ID that we couldn't determine. Seven, 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 seven. Uh, it's your number. 
What? How do you know that? The safe in Chief Gant's office for a car the code to open. A seven digit code. I'm afraid to tell you, Your Honor. The code was seven 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 seven. The same as the remaining card number on that list. Chief Gant, you entered the evidence room on the day of the crime. Oh, snap, look at him, and the music plays once again. Nori, we are officially going to get kick his ass. <laughs> order, order! Chief Gant, what do you have to say? Nothing. The defense says... And I will the man. And tell me, when you entered the room, were you alone? Detective Gibbon wouldn't have happened to be with you that day, would he? Oh, look at his face! Cool. I hadn't seen him in days! <coughs> you hadn't seen him in days, Chief? I'm afraid you've just undone yourself. On that day, you had to have met Detective Goodman. What do you mean? No. No, the truth. If she can't make the victim, then, then we need to determine one thing. Watch it. Present <laughs> Goodman's. All oh, right, the Los Angeles report. The victim Goodman lost his ID card on the day of the crime. Or to be more accurate, Jake Marshall's story. The detective Goodman filled out a lost item report. He would have had to give that report to the chief of police. Yeah, you're a part. He failed it. How do I know you asked? Because he needed to enter the evidence room that day. He needed to, to transfer the evidence out. Detective Kevin took the form to you, Chief Gant. Then, you accompanied the detective to the evidence room. I accompanied him. There's no other way the murderer and Detective Goodwin could have entered the room. Hold on, let me... Exactly. Uh-oh. We we'll use once. Oh, Jesus! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you did it. The murder was most likely a spur-of-the-moment crime for no one. Who would choose the police department as the place to commit murder? After the murder, you contacted Lana at the prosecutor's office. Why? To dispose of Detective Goodman's body, of course. Uh -huh. Kept me at me. Chief Gant, you up? How you move? All right. <laughs> All right. That's right. A screwdriver. Wait, where is...
This is how... Mr. Edwards, think back to the day of the crime. What is this Scrooger doing here? Oh! Let's go. My chief cat no less. He told me he wanted me to keep it here in the prosecutor's office. He... Edgeworth was used against his will! After the ceremony ended, I returned to the prosecutor's office. But you did, because Chief Gantz asked you to. Oi. The body was found in the trunk of your car, Edgeworth. I think it's obvious what happened. The body was moved by that car. But Chester Goodman's body. Yes, unless of course you have another explanation. Chief, why else would you have asked Mr. Edwards to transfer evidence from a closed case? Oh, there's only one possible explanation. To transport the body to your accomplice, Miss Lana Sky. Uh-oh. No order, order, order. What's going on here? Is there no room for a bottle of the defense's outrageous accusation? Think back to the photograph Miss Dart took at the prosecutor's office. That was not a photo of the body being sucked and shrunk and taken away. It was exactly the opposite. It's a photo of the body being taken from the trunk. Chief Scott, please say something. I, but I believe your time's up. All right, huh? Hey. It isn't finished yet. You just did it. So you're going to after all this? Yep. The phone! Lady Lockton. Uh. <gasps> Lannis. Oh, what a sky. Lana Sky. She was in. Uh. Orders. Orders. Hold on. Right. You're up, Edward. 
Gum shoe! <laughs> oh, yeah, sorry about that. Oh, don't worry. Mean oh my uh It's a Oh god Oh oh he's taking risks Anything too? Emma! Emma! I mean, I mean uh, Emma, I'm sorry for what I said before. It was the truth. You know, it's funny. Somehow, revive. Yeah, now they finally know what really happened. I think all this time, my sister was being blackmailed by that terrible man. Oh, just to protect me. Uh. Yeah, wait for her. I'm going with you. Be there. When Lana tells the truth. Time to end this. We're ending this. No, we are not to be continuing it. We are resuming it. We are going to finish it this episode, no matter what. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. We have Emma back. No, now that I don't want to defend it, my flask. Wait, I thought I was doing the call, not, not the judge. You know. Alright. Mm. Alright. Reverse. Come on. We're going all- I worked alongside Gant for years! There's no truth to this blackmail theory. Hmm. Yeah. There we go. Oh, and sister. Yeah, this is no time for stone. All right. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. One, two, three. Press! You say you didn't... Yes. What'd you mind to you? Uh. 
Ai. Ah, forte. Oh, the hammer! It's my knife. Uh. All right. There we go. We're pressing. You pointed at the tip of darks. But why? Why would you do that? Uh, you always. I hit it. Why did you plant the knife? I think I hit the wrong one. Why did you move the body? Uh And object. Miss Guy, I understand how you feel. You committed that crime two years ago to protect your sister. Or if that truth were to be exposed now, the message of your life will have been in vain. Even so, I am compelled to bring everyone's attention to a significant contingent within your testimony! In my testimony, you testified, and I quote: "The pieces of the jaw were shattered during the events threatened by my threatened my point." That's right. It's a simple oversight, really. You see, the message was written on the jaw with the victim's blood. Actually, so, and this is where the contradiction lies. Whatever the victim will write this. Must have not been broken before he died. He could have written Emma's name on a shattered jar. On it would appear more information is needed to regard. It is not because. What? Just tell us exactly what you saw. We'll piece together the information to arrive at the truth. Very well, the witness may continue your testimony. Mm. Mm. You know that the blood and it was too dark in the room, so I didn't have time. I think of it. Alright, so we are... Ah, uh, huh. One, two, three.
Why does it always come back to that? That unstable jar! <laughs> if this guy believed this jar could steal the truth, even you were unaware of. What? We found the final piece of this jar in Chief Gant's safe. In the Chief's safe? But how? I knew it! She really didn't know! There's something even more disturbing about that final piece. There was... Still blood on it. Yes, which leads us to his only one explanation. On the night party we were murdered, you are not the first person to show up on the scene. Chief Gate got there before you! Oh, but current. I'm afraid that's unlikely. The pieces are too big for anyone to miss, let alone an ace detective. Alright. Uh, Alright. Well, have you forgotten, Your Honor? When this was this. Very broken. Alright. Try to do it. Well, Your Honor, can you answer us that? <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh! That attack was on the judge. That was personal. Wait, I'm not the one on trial here. Demon gun to What are the broken pieces? What does that mean? Fabrication of evidence? Why would you do that? In light of what happened afterwards, this is included. Give me the scene, Lois Guy believed her sister ever killed the victim. To turn out her sister, she sought Gant's aid. Yes, aid. He said, stop trying to protect the chief! I can't watch you suffer anymore for my sake! But you have... Foul eyes. Imagine that coming from my own client. It's... Wait a minute. Lana, may maybe right after all. The sky, please testify once more. That if evidence was fabricated behind your back, that Emma's accidental killing of Proxy Marshall might also be a lie. Maybe. Because of domination, well, the way that will very well. I will testify about what I really saw. Uh, it's dark. And I saw it. Alright. Oh. Gant created a reason for Lana to, for, to forge evidence. Alright. Alright. Thank you. <gasps> the book! <laughs> the book! 
Lana gave us the book! Open the book! <gasps> That's a picture here! Uh, oh my! My god, I connected that piece of evidence! Wait, what? Excuse me! What was interrupt- Can't! Come on! Uh. You're too late for that. You already declined to testify. That means you fully had your right to make statements of any sort. Oh no! This must be that risk we were talking about! Just sit back, relax, and enjoy the sound of noose tightening around your own Not show evidence. Your Honor, I don't have any evidence that I can print at this point in time. I don't know what you're talking about. I think someone dug their own gravy wavy. Uh oh, impressive. How does
Yay. Ah. Active for the... Good. No. The fire. Let him up. Piece of cloth. Not over yet. I said the trial isn't over yet. Oh, oh. Before I do that, there's just one little thing I have to clear up. Who really killed Prosecutor Neil Marshall? Chief Gant, you are absolutely right. This piece of cloth proves who the real murderer is. Never afraid not. It's not possible. You see, this piece of cloth contains a critical contradiction. I'm talking about a contradiction. One that proves who the real killer is. Let's see. Take that! 
This is the picture this guy took. Good, good look at it. Uh, it's just so. Okay. Well, Ah! Uh, ah! There's no doubt that she shoved. However, Miss Marshall was not impaled on a sword at that time! Now then, Chief Gant, let me ask you something. If Prosecutor Marshall was not impaled on. Who could have arrived? Picked up. Eh. Never. Eh. Remember what you admitted only moments ago? That you personally cut out this bloodless piece. Ironic, ain't it? To the very educated insurance! You proved you were the actual murderer. <laughs> oh! It's finally all over. We actually did it! Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh, he's still out of here, bro! You can't do that! It's not illegal! Be Uh, hmm. I did not. I admit, I refused at one point. Objection. No, it isn't, Mr. Gant. It's not that I didn't present evidence, it's that I couldn't. There are the certain procedures involved in presenting evidence. There's only one issue left. If we figure this out, then you are guilty. This is my proof, Your Honor. The evidence law. What's this? I've done my homework too, Chief. Indeed, Emma Sky's fingerprints were on this piece of cloth. However, at a point in time, this was a mere piece of cuff, nothing more. You see, it's written right here in this book. The second rule of evidence law. Oh, you did research on the law? Who do I want to... And here's... Yeah, the part that yeah. And sorry, but you can recall when uh, was that picture presented? Right at the beginning of the dance row. The first thing gave was evidence was you, Damon Gant. You yourself confessed to a certain truth. 
Let me verify this once more. On the day of the crime, you personally cut out the piece of effective vest. No! It was then that you approved this clause. There's a clause of evidence. Yes, you, the chief of police, personally approved this clause. The only person who could have cut this fixer and fixer is the one who stood before Prosecutor Model in his final moment. And that means it's a real murder, and there's only one person who can that be. Damon Gant, the killer is you. Mm. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, <laughs> oh He is clapping way too much for me. I knew I should have gotten rid of him. That good for nothing skull. Would you use a bit stupid around at the park? Rather being committed every day, yet he insisted in hounding me. Well, your car wasn't exactly petty. We want them to reinvestigate the case. He recruited Angel Star, then convinced Dick Bruce Goodman. And for I'll lose my own. What the hell are you talking about? Are you a player? <gasps> oh! Sh Then you put the uh. How can you get Miss? Well. Okay. They all did their best and got in my way. I've got my hand to them. They do their jobs well, much to my dismay. Fake evidence doesn't hold up very well upon close examination. You must know that. Tell me, Worthy, why do you stand in court? Me? You despise criminals. It really takes to bring them down. Oh my god. Well, looks like it's time to say goodbye. Oh wait, Udgy. Looks like we'll have to cancel that lunch date. Sorry, old friend. I'm sorry too, Damon Gant. I know you as you usually long. A fine investigator and exempt. I'm sorry to learn that you are no longer that person. The old days are gone, Edgy. Thanks for all the memories, though. Don't worry, you'll be fine. Now you're right over here. Unworthy. You're too wrong. You can't go wrong. In fact, I can hear them already. The murder sounds of new beginning. We won! There are two things I want you to understand. 
First, your sister never hurt anyone. Second, Damon Gant betrayed you from the beginning. You see, Miss Sky, you will no longer have any reason to keep silent. You're right. When this trial is over, I'll tell everything. I'll tell all that I have done these past two years from the time I had Gant help me forge evidence. So, I'm saying that all the. Huh. I can't. This guy. Move it. Yeah, the fuck? He's done well. I did my job. Yeah, <laughs> you are innocent of murder. Let me say, yeah, it's been a lot. In these heavy chains. Well, this. Alright, there's a charge of. And this video, too! <sighs> We're ending on a good note this time, ladies and gentlemen! That's all! To court is adjourned! Uh, I'm over. A Emma? Why the long face? I'm sorry you're supposed to get completely off of her. But at least she wasn't convicted for murder and that she didn't commit. But that's not I don't know. I faith. Give my thanks. You know, I did my best too. You are always interrupting. And one, two, three. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <gasps> Lana! Lana! Should you be doing this? She's still under arrest, you know. Well... Uh, the day... Uh, they ever panic. I have Gant to help me cover up the truth. I thought I was doing it for your sake, but now I realize I was wrong. I changed after that day. I knew how much I was hurting you. Scared. It's your only... No. Happy now. You're... Uh, of course! You know, sis! I always knew that one day you come back. And now you have! <laughs> Oh, Emma. No one can change the past. You knew it's dry to make up for a mistake. Yeah, because in, in doing so, we can find the way to back to her. Yeah. 
I think uh, uh, let me, Edwards. Come over here. Oh, Edwards. Hi, Edwards. What was he hiding? I just came to say congratulations. Thank you. Thank you, Edward. Right, well, I have a going now. Mr. Edwards, I hope you don't blame yourself for what happened. You were the one who acted corruptly. Not you. It's too late. Alright. Oh, I do this. Alright. Uh, Edward. And your mentor, man. You're both best of. We're the both the best of the best of the. The best of the best. Okay. Both made the same mistake. You said in order to fight crime on your own. Hector, you weren't. You were working together with Mr. Wright. Because of that partnership, you were able to present evidence that otherwise would have gone undiscovered. Isn't that right, Mr. Wright? Huh? Uh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. What is this? A pop quiz? Come on, Mr. H. It was the oh, it's the evidence list. Hey Drew, our counterattack began began with this. You had one eye of this, and I had the other. Apart, we wouldn't have been able to do completely restore Emma's picture. That didn't. Your chance, Miss Edwards. This is. Hey, care, Chief Prosecutor. You didn't just remember you can what happened kill what happened kill the prosecutor in you or and it's up for you. I know. It seems I owe you my thanks too, Mr. Wright. But what I face now is my problem. Edwards, I'll be waiting for you in court. Farewell. Where are we going to Well I'll be by the visit soon? I think we both have a lot to learn catching up to do. Here, this is Oh <gasps> she has a book of duck that duck again. And so another case came to Faith in their lie have only just begun. Start my own journey. Here I saw. I scream.
Hey, it's for a friend. Here's it. Ah. Uh, all right, all right. So then, we are able to investigate crimes together with him. Uh, I love how they're using the you know take me out that easy. Well, that's it. Uh, Ace Attorney Trilogy is done with. We got a good end credit scene. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll fuck it all out. <laughs>